What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. All right, Raisin Canes, if you're looking for a refreshing drink to beat the heat this tailgate season, Raisin Canes has you covered with a delicious, freshly squeezed lemonade and freshly brewed iced tea. Do you know who you get their jugs of that you can get jugs of their lemonade and tea for all your tailgates? Raisin Canes chicken fingers are hand battered, cooked to order, served hot. My mouth is watering just talking about it. When I move back to Miami, I'll be getting it all the time. Tailgating just got a whole lot easier with Raisin Canes tailgate platters. Head to Raisin Canes to pick up a tailgate platter for all your watch parties and tailgates. Raisin Canes is so good from the delicious chicken fingers, addictively good cane sauce. There's something for everybody to enjoy. No wonder they're number one most craveable chicken fingers in the country. Satisfy your Canes fix today. There really is no other option. Come for the chicken fingers, stay for the sauce. Order online at RaisinCanes.com. All right, into the headlines, which let's just say for this week's headlines, I'm shocked. Like, I started flipping through as we are finishing the Tana interview. Be like, yeah. page one, page two, page three, oh. page four, page five, page six, page oh. seven, page eight, page nine, nothing. What? Page ten, like, in a little the BFF corner, which we whipped through. Bobby Altoff beef, that's on page ten? That's not the lead story? On well, the we, we had a discussion about that because it's, like, a very inside BFF thing, but it's clearly the biggest story. It, it's inside BFF. F how like you mean it was a national story that was everywhere regardless of yeah that shit was BFF coming up on fans? my instagram on like no there jumper can, and rap, i have dude. no problem with being the first topic of the show if you want to just do that well, I, well i'm just curious what you mean by inside like that was an inside story <laughs> like you had to be a hardcore bff fan to to catch wind <laughs> of what was going on <laughs> Just usually when it's directly involved with us, it goes in BFF score. No, because I feel like Brie has been like the lead story with her boyfriend and Josh when he was going through it would be like lead story. First thing we talk about. We didn't wait to get to the BFF for that. We did and we did and we did it. Listen, I have I have zero problem with this being the first time. I'm Hell just curious yeah. how what arguably is one of our biggest controversies in like recent memory is on page one, two, three, four, five, six. I I thought ten. I actually was I like, is it, it not 10. even on the sheets? Like that was no, what it definitely was on the sheets. I don't yeah. Let's get into it. Why don't so, we get into it? We had Bobby Altoff on our show. Yes, we did. Three weeks ago now, two weeks ago. Three weeks we ago. Did, think two, yeah. Three weeks ago. Two, we did the interview. I thought it went well. We got along with her. Blah, blah, blah. She was very, blah, very, blah. Ni she was very nice. It was very good nice. Shy, but nice. She was in a real person. She did have her team around. She's like, I want to be on the show. My team said no. And then the week I actually after saw her like, like five days after that, too, in person at a variety fair party. Was she nice to you? Super nice. She was like, oh, I love the show. Like, everything was dope. We were, like, chatting. She was talking about how, like, we were talking about how it's kind of weird at these, like, party-type things because it's, like, you just have to, like, say hi to a bunch of people you don't really know and, like, introduce yourself and pretend you know these people. Like, we were yep. getting along, vibing, talking, and then I was like, all right, I'll talk to you later, blah, blah, blah. So I don't I don't know where all this hatred seemed to come from when she started no, posting really stories liked, about I us. I really like so her. I, I can tell So the following week, last week, she was, like, a lead story because she went to a Drake concert I think it was like on a Friday and then her and Drake unfollow each other on social media. I actually sent both of you guys. People are making TikToks about it. And I said to both of you guys, I'm like, I'm fully invested. Like, yeah. what the fuck happened here? A video comes out of her dancing, like doing her thing at the concert. And it looked like a bit. And I DM Bobby. I'm like, hey, I heard I said, Silvana, actually, she was getting hate. I'm like, I heard that you hooked up with Drake. And got a divorce, and that's why you guys all unfollowed each other. Is that true? To which she instantly responded, this is off the record, but no, that's not true. So I told that story on our podcast. <laughs> and I didn't think it was much, because in the way that I tell that story, I'm like, she responded off the record, said not true. It's all packaged up. And there's really, in my mind, not much there. Like, even if it was true. Well, there's actually, there's actually absolutely nothing there because it's not true 
Correct. Yeah. So there's zero. There's zero way to it. It's not a thing. It doesn't matter whatsoever. And like, it, it's, it's a like small you room out and somebody, about. and it's not really outing somebody when she's just like, no, it's not true. Nobody would have paid attention to that clip. It was like, I thought the funnier part was me like directly asking you, and she's like, no. Well, I forget what I was doing. I was running around. I'm doing barstool stuff, and my phone starts going, and Austin's like hey, Bobby's PR team wants this clip down. And at first, he's telling me it's the clip with Little Yachty where she's on the show kind of being like Little Yachty was awkward when they met. And I looked mm. at it, and then my PR people at Barstool are, are sending me screenshots being like her PR team says you better fucking take this down. There's a lot of things I handle. I don't handle PR people threatening me really well. So nah. my hackles, my the skin of my hairs on my arms are raising. I'm like, these motherfuckers. <laughs> I just got the company back. There's no chains on me. Are they fucking? Yes. Do they know who they're dealing with? And I'm getting yes. ready. To, I'm like hulking up for a battle. And then <laughs> Austin, Austin sends me another clip. And it's from BFFs. And it's basically like... I asked Bobby if she fucked Drake, and they got divorced. And as I'm reading the answer, she said, "This isn't uh, no. I'm not talking about publicly. It's blurred out. Austin has put a beep over my face. Yep, and used this clip as clickbait. I knew the second I saw it what an asshole I looked like, and Austin what? looked like. I fucking went." bananas on austin I, i'm like what the fuck are you doing now listen i'm all for clickbait you can't do that you cannot do that where it's like off the record because it looks like it's I exposed. the off the record part is bad. yes and it's like she wasn't on the podcast she wasn't talking freely on the podcast i dm'd her she responded that like if she responded with something juicy i never would have fucking said it like because that's why I think it doesn't matter, and we shouldn't have had to delete the clip because why? it because it was nothing, Dave. You didn't say anything wrong. You made like a little clickbaity joke thing to I didn't bring make viewers it clickbaity anything. To no. the, okay, Austin, Austin made a clickbait joke edit that would have pushed viewers to the podcast where everyone would have seen it was but nothing. But people don't watch that. It's The headline has just made it seem like she fucked Drake and she's a married woman. I don't know what's going on. You can't circulate that with just by itself. You cannot. Like, uh, I knew, by the way. Because there's know a lot of more weight behind it. Like Yeah, and you know married. how much I knew, just for people who don't know, I apologized to Bobby before, five hours before she posted like her thing, like I didn't apologize to Bobby and I didn't freak out on Austin because it became a big story. I did that the second I saw it. I'm like, this is wrong. Hey, Bobby, sorry. We went back and forth. Five hours later, she posted, by the way, kind of bullshit by her that she like cut me apologizing because it had already happened. I had apologized five hours before. Oh, when and she screenshotted like, your DMs? Yeah, she's like, here's the full conversation. No, at that time, I had already, everything had already been said. It wasn't like I saw her do that and then I apologized. The second I saw the clip from Austin, I told him, delete it. I'm like, what the fuck are you doing? You're making me, us, look like more me, look like assholes because you are wanting people to think she fucked Drake and she didn't, she didn't hint or do anything like that while being recorded she said off the record no i didn't but it's like no one saw the no i didn't he separated a very big part so to me i disagree josh i think we're a hundred percent wrong and i never I admit know. if i, I, I i'll just, never I just say think wrong. like it's like it's all for fucking fun you can't play like this game of where your whole podcast, and I'm not like mad at Bobby or mad at their PR team or whatever. I think it's kind of ridiculous. I think everyone's being soft as baby shit. But like, you can't play the whole game where your whole podcast is literally editing clips to make them look different than what they were in their raw form. That is Bobby's podcast. But, she but it wasn't every clip she, of her podcast. I agree. If she did it on our podcast, it's totally different. But she, this wasn't said in a podcast. It was said in my DMs. 
it's but the they're the, the ones. Ma- she's the one making the jokes, you know. Like she's the one that's putting her in that place for those jokes to be made. And then when the jokes are made, then it's like all these people are evil people. All these people are the worst. I'm like the innocent. It's like well, you put yourself in no, this she, role I, where these she, jokes are going to be made about. She you. has 100 percent brought on the speculation of she fucked Drake and everything. And I don't feel bad about any of that speculation. But I can't DM her. Have her answer, be like off the record, but no, and then have us use that as like marketing be the the way we did it. Like if I answered like that, I'm not expecting to see that cut up and edited. I'm not like thinking that's part of the pod. I'm not on right there. It bottom right. of the line, it's because she said off the record is why it's fucked. Did she say the exact words off the record? Yes. Yeah. Like word for word. Yes, bar for pretty bar. much. But Bree, do you think? If he didn't split that, it was bad. If he didn't split, if he didn't blur it off, if it just came together, she's like, "Off, I'm not talking about it on the record. It's off the record, but no, no, like, I think right, that's fine. That, that's what I think. So, yeah. can we watch the clip? Can we see that clip? The one that yep. he, yeah, edited. Come can on. I see the edited clip one more time? Like, I don't know why she I was in the heat the of anger. No. I will admit, I was in the heat of anger when I saw this clip was taken down because I was like, what the fuck? Me and Dave worked so hard to get Barstool back and buy it back for a dollar. Yeah, Me and right. Dave did work so hard. <laughs> and now they're controlling us again? What the but fuck is up with this bullshit? Just for the record, just for the record, Josh, I took it down before the controversy. In fact, if the controversy happened reverse, I may have been an ass, but it's like... I apologize right away. I knew it was bad right away. All right, let me see it. I was in the heat of anger. Let me see it. I'll come in with a more open mind. Silvana's like, I heard that Bobby slept with Drake and is getting divorced. So I asked her. I DM Bobby. What? You asked her, did you sleep with Drake and are you getting a divorce? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm not coming, commenting on that publicly. Wait, so you just outed her? Oh. You just outed her not public comment? Silvana's like, I heard that Bobby I really slept don't with think Drake it's that and bad. is getting divorced. So I asked her. I DM Bobby. What? You asked her, did you sleep with Drake and are you getting a divorce? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, I'm not com- commenting on that publicly, but that's not true. Wait, so you just outed her? Oh. You just outed her not public comment? Yeah, I, I, you can't do it. I'm, I'm, you can't do that. <sighs> and then it, it makes it yeah. worse, Josh, being like, you just outed her not public thing. It's, it, it's just it not made a good look. it seem like we and again it when you have somebody on the podcast they know what they say is fair game that mm. she didn't like it was a dm i was kind of cracking a joke she kind of cracked a joke back but like was no but the internet this woman and again she is bringing it on herself but i'm fine with bringing it on yourself and you unfollow and drake and this and that and there's all these rumors yeah, but she is married with kids and people. I headlines were like, she basically confirmed to us that she was fucking around with Drake. That's yeah. what people assume based on that. Yeah, it I get, was, I get that, I get that. But like, we didn't say anything about her. Be- it's not like we lied on our show or nothing like that. You know? <laughs> no, we didn't lie. We were just scumbags. <laughs> well, slimy. slimy, very slimy. Austin, where are you? Where's your take? I mean, I. I was so mad at Austin when this happened. Was I, don't the most mad I don't know whether he was laying over and just like letting me scratch his belly because he <laughs> knew or he thought he would like, what do you actually think? Um, The whole thing was like a big, cause they, they did originally get mad about the Yachty thing. Cause it was going viral on another thing. And so that started. And they originally, when they called, that's what I was saying. They didn't ask for that clip to be taken down. Like we saw this, like we don't love it, but they didn't ask for that. Then they called back when like, we also want this thing taken down. So I, they originally didn't even think it was a problem. Then they thought it was a problem. No, they said it. they weren't. They weren't. The, the The first call came from, I think, maybe her agency. And then they were like, we want this Yachty clip down because she was getting trashed over the internet. From Which her. I could give a fuck less. The Yachty clip would have never in a million years. I don't give a fuck about that. That didn't play. Yeah. That was going to. I was ready to go at the throat of her, of any agency. I was going to go political. That's when you got that. mad. Yeah. Yes. That's when I'm like, ooh. Dave mad, Dave mad. Mm, mm. But yeah, and then then they call back later. I think that was her PR team being like, we also want the the um, DM clip taken down. When I originally was thinking of the teaser for that, I was thinking it was just going to be a cut before he answered. And then when I saw the first drive of the bleep, I was like, whatever. Because I think I knew it was nothing. 
I think when you know going into it, it's nothing. It's a different perspective. I didn't That's think true. when people saw it, they would think, oh, they're fucking Drake. They'd think, oh, I want to know what Dave said. Let's tune into the episode. But then when you, but that's just because we knew going in that he says no. When you look at it from a completely unbiased perspective, I can see why people are being like, he essentially just confirmed that she fucked Drake and is getting a divorce, which is scummy. I have a pretty good feel for content. I like, again, the second I saw it, I knew it was bad. I was like, this is, and, and that is why I had it come down. I yelled at Austin. I apologized to Bobby. That all happened in the span of 10 minutes from me seeing the clip. Like five hours later, she posted, basically, I hate you guys. She unfollowed all of us. Now, do I think she's blameless? No. Like, she plays this game, and which they who knows why they both unfollowed her. She's posting clips of her not dancing at his concert, and she's playing into the Drake thing. So... Yeah, people are going to talk. She seems maybe a little soft-skinned. Would yeah. I be that mad if somebody did it to me? No, but it's still a scummy thing to do. She did say on BFFs <laughs> how sensitive she is. She yeah. said she's a very I also didn't person. like how she's like, I never wanted to do the podcast. It's like, well, did you or didn't? Because yeah. I, you, I, don't like, I, I don't like the back and forth and the lying shit. Yeah, I really liked her. I'm sad. I, yeah. Originally, you said it was your team. You wanted to do it. Then... Now you're back to hating us and never want to do it. Her PR Sorry. team is going to make her become someone where a lot of people don't enjoy working with her or wanting her to do things. She if also this is has what continues the fastest happening. growing like PR, like a million different people in her head. Like, why yeah. do you have 10 people? You've, you've been known you, for you a week and a half. Yeah, you haven't done this long enough to have 15 PR people. Like, you're and, not going to know what to do yourself. For your flight, so. Yeah. Anyways, Shitty that was that PR. drama. Regardless, we fucked up. We were bad. We shouldn't have done it. Um, yeah. Bobby hates us. We'll never yep. have Bobby on again. No, no, by the way, not. also, not. moving forward, like, trying to get guests maybe makes it about a million times harder if people think you're just going to fucking sabotage the fuck out of them. Mm -hmm. oh. And we've said so that by, DMs. by the way, we've said that before about having guests. If you do headlines that make the guests look bad and they're not happy with, future guests are not going to want to come to the show. Yeah, that's a good point. Fuck you. I've had a little bit of a dry spell with the guests. Yeah, uh, yeah I right. guess I, I do. I do think I knew what the clip was. So to me, it wasn't as bad of a clip. But I guess if you didn't know, I get the other perspective thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift turned down doing the Super Bowl halftime show. Good. Too Why good? good? Too good for it. Yeah. She's bigger than the Super Bowl. She's bigger than everything. Yeah, she's Taylor Swift. Um, she Super got Bowl? swarmed to the Jersey Shore. Saw this. I don't know. Ed Sheeran couldn't do the Super Bowl halftime show. Same week, Ed Sheeran said the only way to do the Super Bowl halftime show is he was joining someone else because it doesn't have the pizzazz other performers do. I don't necessarily agree with Ed Sheeran. I think he's got a lot of pizzazz. I saw him just the other day. I thought he had tons of pizzazz. Dang. Yeah, he's pizzazzy, I think. Yeah, right? me too. He, he just has some self-confidence, it seems like. Yeah, come on, King. Oh, yeah, that that right. almost is what makes him endearing, though, um, yeah. in a way. He's lovable. He's very like, yeah, 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 I know what you mean. Uh, Dylan Danis won't stop harassing Nina Agdal. Dylan Danis gearing up with his fight with Logan. Uh, he is posting pictures of her, said that he has the most insane pizza picture of nina to exist but he can't share it because the event would be canceled logan nina may call off their engagement blah 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 is dylan going too far uh no i hate to say it it's fight it's a fight, it's fight. i and, and logan paul i've said many times i like logan logan's no dummy it, this is like the most predictable thing ever so I can't imagine Logan is like, oh my god, I didn't think Dylan Dennis would go there. Dylan Dennis will go fucking anywhere. Yeah, he's and he's been coming at them for like three years. Yeah. Dylan Dennis also said he saved Logan Paul's life at a party in New York City because people want to shoot Logan in the head. But Dylan's influence <laughs> in New York City got him to stop that. Dylan saved Logan's life. <laughs> people wanted to shoot him in the head. There's a story, me and Logan. So Logan was at a party in Manhattan at an after party. He came in, no, and he didn't check in. And then he was at he was with the Alex Cooper at a party. So I was Ooh. like, I'm going to go into this. So I come in with crutches, right? And I have a video. So I, like people think I'm bullshitting. I was on one side of the table. He was on the other side. And he was like all freaked out. He was like shit in his pants. And he came over the table and he, he was like, you picky promise me you're not going to do anything. A picky promise. And I'm on crutches. And I'm like, yeah, whatever. So like we're, we're talking, whatever. And then like that whole shit happened. 
and he didn't realize like who I am in New York or the connections I have. And like, I stopped him from getting murdered that night. Like, cause they were going to shoot him in the back of the head. And I was like, bro, I don't want him to die. Like just calm down. And like, after that, he has not come back to Jesus New York. Jesus Christ. Bro. Yeah, it was like serious, bro. And I told him, I said, you watch yourself around me, like coming around with that stupid shit. Someone had a hit out on him. I don't know if I believe that. I mean, that's a crazy story bold statement. Yeah. yeah. And I also have a hard time believing Logan hasn't been back to New York. I don't know. Has he? Who knows? Uh, Tana's podcast goes, Brooke also recently had beef with Dylan Dennis after having some flirty banner with Dylan that ended after she said she was Team Logan Paul, which resulted in Dylan Dennis turning on her. Uh, Karina Kampf came for Dylan Dennis by saying he is corny for asking women that should stop sending and unsending DMs to her friends. Again, fight game. Very predictable fight game. Not surprised. And it's going to sell tickets. People are going to watch the fight because of this. Yeah. 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 hundred percent. He knows what he's doing. He knows how to promote. Good shit. He's, talk, been, girl. he's been promoting for like 10 years straight for this fight. Yeah, this, so. For this fight. Yeah. I don't think. Yeah. When was the last time he actually fought? A while. In that the UFC. On, the, on the Jersey Shore boardwalk when he got like yeah. arrested. <laughs> UFC, I think a real fight a long time ago. Okay. Uh, Elon June Musk. 2019. 20, Four years. What? Wow. And that was UFC? Um, has a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Elon Musk wants to take the block. By the way, I think Logan Paul is going to win. Josh, who's who do you want to win? Or who do you think is going to win? Um, I think probably Logan will win. I think Logan's significantly bigger than he is. I was just going to say, like, that's a lot taller. That's what my thought was. And and I we've seen how all these other like UFC, uh, go yeah boxing. combat sports the MMA guys they're not they're not boxers like yeah. they that's not what they do he's never done this so we'll see uh, Elon Musk wants to take the block feature away okay I like that Britney Spears and Sam Ashigari divorce you guys I, have any comments or just I keep don't going? okay I don't yeah. Uh, Kiki Palmer and Usher's new music video. A month after Kiki Palmer's now ex-boyfriend tweeted about her outfit at an Usher concert, Kiki Palmer <laughs> starred in Usher's music video for his new song, Boyfriend. This is a power Love move. Love that. This is such a power that move. That is so sick. She's a bad bitch. Damn. That's Usher. crazy. That's the ultimate get back at your fucking ex move. Yeah. yeah. Usher is up right now. Kind of a Jeremy, power couple. Are, they're not dating. you just in the... In the music, I know, but yeah. if they were, kind of powerful. oh yeah. Um, Jeremy Allen White comments on Alexa Demi, the Bear actor. Hate that show. The Bear actor Jeremy <laughs> Allen White is taking heat on the internet for commenting "Wow" under Euphoria star Alex Demi's Calvin Klein campaign. People have been a turned off by Jeremy White since divorcing his wife. He shares a child with and going full Hollywood. People also believe Jeremy Allen White has been calling paparazzi on himself when he works out. <laughs> What That's what is the wrong? Craziest move ever, dude. <laughs> to call paparazzi in yourself while you're working out just so everyone can see your game progress. That's fucking hard. I are, are we to believe that the the um the house here? What's the name? My brain's dying. Your house sway? that you sway sw the sway house definitely was like trying to get paparazzi there while you guys were working out. Well, no. they just filmed. We didn't have to call. We didn't have sure. to call yeah, anybody, bro. Fair, good point. They just yeah. you don't need us. paparazzi when you're putting out yourself. Yeah. Exactly. There are so many photos of him just like on walks, like fully, like every search result is just like, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I so have been paparazzi like, walking like he's that ripped. Before, the dude's ripped. No, I'm not that ripped though. He's um, ripped. I don't think commenting I, wow is a bad move. Same. Who cares? Yeah, the he guy just, has like, no way. He's recently wife. divorced with his wife. So people are like, this is. How long? How long is it? How long is recent? Um, Publicly within a few months, I think. Okay, but, but I don't know how long. Not public. I don't know personally. I don't know. If, if you. How. All right. I don't have the answers. I'd have to know how long were you married? How long have you been divorced? If, if you're saying you're married for 10 years, you're divorced for a month and you're going, wow, bad. Here we go. And, so and they, they have a kid. In, yeah, so they met in 2006. Listen, they got together in 2013. They had their daughter in 2018. Got engaged in 2019. Oh, yikes. Running out Going. of time. Second daughter in 2020. Two, May 11, 2021, Timlin files for divorce. May 11, two, that's like two days ago. <laughs> yeah, too soon. I think... Just too soon like, to do wow. They, they were so soon, 
lovey and like he posted about her and the kids all the time and then it's just like sudden switch up and this picture is like she's in lingerie too too early to do wow that's what i I knew i knew it i knew this show sucked uh but the bear you're gonna put the whole shows sh- like, that show sucks dude I've been told it's a pretty people good show. I love it. A lot of people. Yeah, watch watched. it. Get back to me. It's the same shit over and over. Uh, Drake's new hair goes viral. Drake took a break from his braids to view a new hairstyle on the internet. Had a lot to say about it. Uh, he, it's. I'm not a fan. I love him. He's so silly, goofy. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a hairstyle. Liv Dunn is dating Paul Skeens. Who's Paul that? Ske- Paul Skeens was pitcher for LSU, number one pick in the draft. Let's is that go. official? They're a couple now? Both LSU kids. Makes sense. Yeah, I think they are. Got her like a box or whatever at a game, so they got to be official. Hot couple. Yeah, that's a good couple. Uh, Avani addresses why her and Charlie aren't as close. In a recent video, Avani Greg said her former BFF, Charlie DeMeo, hasn't seen each other in a while because work has been crazy for her. She hopes she's doing well. Uh, okay. So they just don't hang out. I don't think we care Maybe about that. Yeah, Charlie, I don't think we really do. Charlie just hangs out with her boyfriend. Now, yeah, so. I think that probably plays a big factor. Yeah. Landon Barker got in a fist fight. Pictures of Landon Barker on what looks to be a fight have been circling TikTok. When asked about the picture on Snapchat, Landon said he can't speak on that. Landon can never speak on that. Allison Ray uh, saved pop music. Pop music? Did you guys listen to her music? I didn't even know she uh, came out with music. I think I knew it was coming. I don't know if I've heard it. Do we have it? Yeah, I can pop a song. Wait, did she drop a whole album or just uh, one song? Yeah, she dropped a bunch. Oh, this one's kind of a banger. Charlie XCC. That is that's a big big person, right? Yeah. XCX. Okay. Fucks. <laughs> I like that. I like ass, and I don't love that song. I think it's I think it's good. <laughs> yeah, it's like I want I I want to turn the if I knew it was on a different station, I wouldn't go to it. If it mm. came on the station I was listening to, I wouldn't turn it off. I just it's just kind of there. It, it's just like very pop music. It reminds yeah. me of like old pop music. Uh, Bieber and Scooter Braun may have parted ways. I've heard this is not true, so we can ignore that. Uh, I hope it is, but I don't think it is. If it is, then he's clearly the problem. Every everything ends because of yeah, him. I, that's why I hope it is. Um, Lar Pippen, Marcus Jordan, maybe getting engaged. Blah blah blah. Let's get into the BFF corner. We already did the Bobby Altoff beef. Oh, yes. I forgot to watch Snow White. Fuck. Dude. Did you watch it, Josh? Yeah, I did. I I like watch half of it and fell asleep because it sucks. It's my fault because what Austin reminded me the other day. What'd you think, Josh? It's a good it's a good film. It's like a cartoon like Disney movie. I don't know what I really was expecting besides that, but that's what it was. I guess I understand like Okay, so I think the girl the new girl's point when she's doing this new uh Snow White is that the old one was sexist, right? That's pretty much what she's going on and yeah. on about. Yeah. And like Did the prince I, stalk her? It, I, the, the, I guess the, what the happened. Evil lady kind of stalked them. Yeah, it's more like the evil witch lady. But I think the the sexist notes in it is like, or what people are saying the sexist notes in the movie are, are like Snow White seems very incapable of like taking care of herself in the movie unless, you know, until she finds like. The seven dwarves and the seven dwarves take her in, which is like a man take her in. And then it's like she also can't save herself. And then Prince Charming saves her. A man saves her. Right. And, and the queen, the only thing stuff. the queen cares about is like beauty and looking like to be the most fair of them all. And idolizes like good looks, not like being, you know, like smart or intelligent or so. That's, I think, where people try to pull like this is a sexist film. But to me, it's it's very much just it's a princess and a prince, you know. Like I don't think I see it so much as like she's helpless. She's she's wandering through the forest, like she's going through these places. And I don't know. I I think it's a little bit extreme to try to nitpick this the sexist tones out of it instead of just enjoying like a princess and prince film. And obviously, yeah, it was made in 1937, so that's a long time ago. If you were to do it today which, like, they've done multiple different types of Snow Whites or, like, the Snow White and the Huntsman or whatever, which was that one I think that, like, Chris Hemsworth was in, the girl that did Twilight. Like, in that one, she's a very capable Snow White and, like, is able to take care of herself and has the Huntsman that helps her and they meet the dwarves that, like, kind of help them all, but, like, she is capable herself too. So, I don't know. I think I think she's just going on a little bit of, like, a woke, hair 
in the uh, entertainment industry right now, which a lot of people don't seem to be liking. When I looked up the movie, like the kid of the original owner was saying how like that he's turning in his grave, like this new girl is a disgrace to Snow White. So a lot of drama around it. I'll have to catch up on it. Thanks for doing your assignment. That's on me for not doing mine. I didn't. What did this. you think, Bree? I guess a woman should have given maybe her point of view though too, not just a dude. Well, so. Bree didn't even watch the whole thing. No, but oh. I mean, I I agree with the same thing. It's made in the '30s. Also, it's I don't know. It's just like a different time now, and they're remaking it for good reason. And but maybe I don't. Just, I don't know OG, if it's like no, sexist. It's definitely like. I don't know. It's definitely a little sexist, but so are all. If you look at all the original like princess movies, they all have the same undertones because mm. it was they were it was the sexist world when they were made. Because it's like a princess being saved by like a prince. kind Yeah. Of thing. But I think that's why we're recreating all the movies for better reason. Yeah. I mean, do you agree with like this new Snow White girl that's like going through and, you know, treating the movie how she's treating it, or treating the past movie how she's treating it, I should say. Um, I don't like anyone that I don't like anyone that extreme and annoying about shit. But also just remake the movie. One thing we do when we go on the sides of these, it's also okay for like a girl to grow up and want to be a princess and meet Mr. Charming, the Prince Charming, and like have a happy life. That like that doesn't make you like bad. It's it's reverse feminism. Yeah, right. It's like, oh, you just wanna be a mom and do it's so weird it's yeah like, it's like now they're saying like you can't do that right yeah. like that's bad for a girl to want to be a princess and meet prince charming and live happily ever after like you could that's there's nothing wrong that's with that also either womanhood like right it's, it's too, <laughs> yeah so. so weird it's not just one way straight i didn't see this tiktok's trying to get in my dms huh what are TikTok, they saying tiktok loves my npc live stream TikTok's TikTok account commented on Dave's BFF's NPC live stream saying he had an incredible performance. Thank you, TikTok. So what am I talking to there? Like Russia? China? China, maybe. I think, yeah. I think it would probably either be, you know, United States or China. All right. Thanks, China. It'd be weird if Russia just popped in. Yeah, I don't know. I I said Russia, and then right after, I'm like, it's China. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Why do you hate hate the Savannah Bananas? Because I love them. That's exactly why. <laughs> oh, why do you hate them? They go viral all the time. So yesterday, I just saw a clip of them going viral for the billionth time, and and I just tweeted what I felt. I'm so fucking sick of the Savannah Bananas. It, That's fair. It, it reminds me like Dude Perfect. Like, listen, they sell out their games. It's working for them. It's for little kids. But like, I don't really care about them doing the lambada up to home plate and dances and like all this trick shit. It's like, I, it just doesn't interest me. And they go viral so fucking much. And I don't, it just piss. I don't want to piss me off. I'm just sick of their shit. Now, then they responded like, well, you guys are in our DMs trying to get rights to our videos. And Marty Mush did BP. Yes, all of that. True. And it's lame. And I'm just sick of it. And I don't want it anymore. <laughs> um so that's it. it. It's not like some huge grudge, but it's just, I guess, in this day and age of social media, you can't avoid it. I see their clips. They're on ESPN. It's just enough. It's Dude Perfect. Dude Perfect probably looks at me and be like, well, we've made billions of dollars, and we have this and that, and like, we don't care what you think, but it's so stupid. Like, Do you Dude see Perfect the Savannah so Bananas stupid. that much, Josh? You think Dude I don't Perf- really see I, I don't much. see Savannah the Bananas that much. I see much. them like once a month. Yeah, oh, I, no, see I, see once I see them once in a while. Well, dude, maybe stop watching the entire maybe, video. Yeah, maybe that's why you're sick stop of Stop engaging with it. Are you liking them? I watch it and get out. mad. <laughs> Do you like it and comment no, on I don't, it? No, I don't like it. Fuck I watch you it. guys. I hate bananas. I, yeah, I watch it. I'm like, ooh, these bananas. <laughs> that's hilarious oh my god they really got you hey man yeah, they got me Gotty you like shit. dude perfect dude dude perfect is great come on right. watching some guys do some are those trick the trick shots. shot guys yeah, yeah like, there's nothing wrong with them at least they're not like breaking out into high school musical dance every 30 seconds like the savannah bananas they listen they, they, both they hate them all not yeah. that I'm against high school musical dancing. I know that's evidently how I made my entire career. But True. Oh, yeah. Now I, I sound uh, like Bryce. I don't do that anymore. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't do that shit no more. 
Um, he's no, acting but, like he's like my like I don't know TikTok drama. Like, what are you talking about, guys? You know when, what? Bryce has been on a weird like I'm older. Not like so. I'm not even talking specific about like the TikTok thing. But even recently, he's like, dude, I'm like 24. Like I don't drink anymore like that. Like I'm not going to parties like that anymore. I'm like 24, dude. Like you gotta understand. And I'm like, bro, that's like college, young. Yeah, yeah, right. Mean? Yeah, what, what are you, you talking this, about? This is like f this is twenty four. Like, this is frat. <laughs> yeah. President is twenty four. You know, like what are you what what are you doing? Come on, we all still partying. That is uh, a little strange. It is strange. Yeah. He's he's going in a mature phase or something. We'll see how long that lasts. From the I party hope you not long. King. I hope not I, long. It's just I don't he's think training. Long. He can't drink. Well, but he no, needs all active. that crowd to watch his fight. Whatever. We're going around circles. We're going in circles. Um, all right, guys, quick commercial break. So I had a proper wild energy shot earlier. I feel amazing. I feel focused. It's super early. I'm on the uh, West Coast, so it's earlier for me. I usually record later with BFFs in New York time. So I had a proper wild shot this morning to get me awake, to get me focused, and it totally worked. I'm in the zone, super focused, energized, and it put me in a good mood. So I love this stuff. There's no preservatives, no artificial sweeteners, no horrible chemicals, so it's actually good for you. And here's the best part. Uh, we partner with Proper Wild. You can get a free shot on me at a store near you right now. Just go to properwild.com slash free shot or click the link below. All you have to do is buy a shot, upload your receipt, and they'll Venmo you the amount you paid, which is amazing. So you can get your free shot at properwild.com slash free shot. Make sure to try it. A bunch of different flavors. Makes you super focused and there's no preservatives, no artificial sweeteners. Tastes good. Feels good. It's good for you. Make sure to check it out. You can get your free shot at properwild.com slash free shot. Tana on here? Is oh. Yeah. Yeah, she was a minute early. What? She was a whole minute early. Oh, she is. Her go. What's up, Tana? Can't hear her though. No. Now, can you hear me? Yes. Woohoo! All right. I didn't know we had you. Thanks for coming on. <laughs> You're welcome, Dave. Are I was we good? early out, out of sheer fear. I appreciate that. I like that shirt sweatshirt. Is that just pickles? It's just jars. Is of pickles, that the yeah. fucking TikTok one that everyone's buying? Yeah, it was a birthday gift, and I think I had like a seizure when I opened it. I love pickles. Love what pickles. do you mean it's a TikTok thing? What does that have to do with anything? Like the it's TikTok like, ads. Yeah, it's like viral on TikTok. TikTok huh. ad. I didn't know that. Uh, we good, uh, Austin? Yeah, Josh, you good on your end? Yeah, yeah, we should be good over here. All right, uh, let's go, BFFs. Welcome, Tana Mojo. Welcome to the show. How what is this? Whoa, whoa, whoa. The third, second? Well, I'm lost. I think it's. I think it's the third. Third. It's the third. And third, how many yeah. times have you? So you've skipped twice and been on three. I only skipped <laughs> once, and I deserved everything that came with that. The second time was a miscommunication between Josh's Instagram story. That. <laughs> was a joke <laughs> was that me whose phone was that yours that was my phone i'm sorry i just okay I'm no worries sorry, sorry. <laughs> no you you're you're on the good side you're one of our most common guests now i guess right yeah Tana, yeah. Yeah, Tana Tana and Bryce. yeah Tana and Tana and Bryce. and that actually makes perfect sense leading into our next topic i guess with you do you because i guess you and you and bryce have beef we had Bryce on last week, and he was kind of talking shit about you guys, saying, if I recall correctly, you guys were never really friends to begin with. He said at one point, he did he say he fucked you for clout? Is that what the issue was? Am I remembering? Yeah, he that said that exact yeah. saying, right? Yeah. But then he also said that Tana would use him for videos, but we were saying that it's like a it was a two way thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so where are we at this, Tana? Where where it's are you? Funny. I just looked, uh, Brie was kind enough to send me the briefing for today's episode. And it's so funny because it is just jam packed full of quote unquote drama and things that we have to talk about. And I knew Bryce was going to be the first one. Um, yeah, I saw that episode that that was a doozy <laughs> for sure. For me, that was a doozy. Um, whenever something like really frustrates me, I go di or like upsets me or hurts my feelings. I go directly to my notes app and I will make out like a bullet point list of how I feel. And that's what I did the second that I saw that podcast. Um, here's the thing. I know today we're unpacking a lot of scandalous topics and I'm down for all of it. But I really, maybe I'm just not in the mood. My mood changes every week. I'm not in the mood to Minute. be 
with Bryce. Minute, second, even <laughs> really. Um, I'm not in the mood to beef with Bryce right now. And I mean, so the OG podcast came out where he was on Zach saying, and they were like, have you ever hooked up with anyone for clout? And he was like, yeah, Tana. <laughs> I was like, sick. That's awesome. You know, I am a human being too. And certain things definitely are like, okay, okay. Ouch. Like that's. Haven't you said that the reverse before? I feel like the first no. time we ever talked, you were like, you said you clout farm. I thought I you said that. Farm. I definitely do clout farm. I guess clout farming every time I've ever explained it on anything is usually a mutually beneficial relationship that you establish with someone that usually also is intertwined with a friendship because you can't do something like that with someone if you don't get along to some point. But I don't fuck for clout. And I I saw when you were responding to Bryce, you were like, well, Tana fucks for clout too. So like, da, 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 da. I thought you said that. I thought I was quoting no. like you. No, I mean, I maybe I've made a joke like towards what people have said about me. But if I was out here fucking for clout, I would be telling you guys the most famous people I've slept with. The only time I ever address someone with clout that I have hooked up with is if it comes to public knowledge first or if the other person is making a joke with me on something. I'm not going to come on here and be like, hi, BFFs. Here's the most famous person I've ever fucked. Like, I, it, it's just, and I'm not, dude, you've seen the, I've, I've borderline <laughs> fucked homeless men. Like, I, I'm not choosing who I'm getting with based Sweet on where brag. it's going based on where it's going to get me in the world, you know? But, um, so yeah, I saw that, uh, podcast with Bryce and to my knowledge at that point, we were still good. Um, and then I went on canceled and I just addressed it in like a very brief and like joking way. And Brooke kind of spearheaded that conversation as well. She was the one who was a little more upset as friends are when they protect their best friends. And then, after that, Bryce tweeted his fight was coming up and he was like, I really need Tana to say team Bryce on God or something like that. I don't know the exact verbiage he used, but he said something like that. And then I went on Saving Grace podcast and I was talking a little more about it because she I don't know how it came up, but we just started talking about Bryce saying that. And still, to my knowledge, we're good. And then I'm looking at my tagged photos on Instagram and I see that Bryce has unfollowed me. And I was like. OK, OK damn like but I, I i didn't you know i again i didn't think there was like a issue here or whatever and then i see his podcast with all of you where he is saying we were never friends we saying we aren't friends saying all of that and you so know is that I mean, not true is that like it, i could see a lot of relationships in la being the way he described in which you're like not calling to like hang out, but yeah. if you see somebody out, you, you make a video, but it's like, I understand. I have friendships like that where, you know, in the daytime we're scheduling to do work and content together and stuff like that. And again, everyone has their own opinion. If Bryce sincerely feels like we were never friends, then like, that's how he feels. I definitely don't feel like that at all. And it really honest to God hurt my feelings a lot to watch that clip. And I think it takes a lot to hurt my feelings. Like I was like, damn, like, I mean, if we were only doing things for clout, I can sit here and name countless times, like tens and tens of times where we were hanging out without a camera, without a TikTok without content, whether it was Halloween with like Josie and we were going to all these haunted houses and doing shit together. He was having a poker night at his house and he's like, come over and compete in the poker nights. Or we're both in Vegas and we're out gambling and laughing and being crazy until like 5 a.m. Bryce and I also have like told each other so many of like our deepest, darkest secrets and random shit. And we'll like shoot the shit about random shit all the time. Like when I see him, we've supported each other for so much like dizzy, he would just come through to everything or be shotgunning them on my balcony and like supporting it. And then of course I'd film it. Cause there's cameras everywhere. You know that like, and again, like just friendship wise, like he's told me some of Josh's deepest, darkest secrets. And I've been there and like, you know what I mean? We've had so many moments that I accounted for as sincere friendship. So I was, you know, yeah, I, I one. I could totally see how, based on what you're saying, I mean, you are doing a 180 take from what he said, which is you guys were fake friends and you're saying you're real friends. So if someone said and that I mean, about anybody, they'd be he, insulted. If that's how he feels, that's how he feels. I just, I never was like, oh, we're fake friends. And I like, 
to insinuate that I am the only person that was taking content or that the content I was taking was like against his will. Yeah. <laughs> it's like really where I was like, damn. Cause it's like, <laughs> A, you can go back to all of his content at the same time. Like, so, like some of my most viewed TikToks with him, like he was making TikToks with me that day as well. I was in so many of his vlogs for so long, like Snapchat or just different pieces of content and like paparazzi where we'd be like, let's leave this party. And are you down to go take photos? And of course I'm like, when I'm in a friendship like that with someone, I'm going to ask like, Hey, do you want to do this? Do you want to make this TikTok? And if Bryce was ever like, no, not right now or anything like that, like I would, I would never, I don't want to make content or do anything with anyone who feels like they're doesn't a want to. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. just And it's again, like Harry Jowsey is a great example. Like, yes, we were, clout farming and doing all that shit together. But like, I'll call Harry and talk for an hour and like, shoot, like we have a genuine friendship and I don't think he'd ever say anything like that about me. I don't know if what I said on saving grace or whatever, like made Bryce mad, but yeah, I mean, I, I, like I said, I think it's fair. I, I, it's such a different world, but if you think a friendship's real and someone says not, I always thought it was very, I always thought you guys were friends. And I always thought it was a mutual, like get content. Josh, you probably know better. <laughs> Like, what was your take on their relationship from outside? Yeah, I mean, from what I saw, you know, everyone would be, like, filming and whatnot. So I kind of just assumed everyone was, like, chill like that. Uh, but then Bryce obviously came on and, and said it. that's not how it was at all. So Bryce, I guess, everything that he said, he didn't talk about it much off the pod. He talked about it for, like, two seconds off the podcast being, like, you know how it is. You know how it is. Like, I, this is my Bryce voice. You know how it is. You know how it is. Like, I just feel like she would, like, put the camera in front and be like, film this video right now and then be, like, all over me and then not be, and then it's, like, over. And all so, over I, me, all over me is also wild because so much of our friendship was based in me hanging out with, like, him and Josie or, like, him and a girl that he was maybe into. And, like, I would be, I was with him and my boyfriend in Vegas and, like, January. So it's like, you know what I'm like, Josh, think about that day that me, you, Josie and Bryce went to Santa Monica bungalows. Like, did we make a single TikTok that day? Like, did we like, no, we just, we went and we drank and we had a night. Like, yeah, I remember drinking and having an, I, I, I'm, I don't remember filming a TikTok. I feel like we could have, maybe I, I have well, no I fucking clue. At my house after we were all like fucked up, me, you, Josie and Bryce filmed a TikTok. But, but like, that, that is like the lowest standard of entry yeah, because yeah, that's what everybody who's in the content world seems to do. It's not like if you hang out with your friends, it's late. Like Silvana, when we were at Syracuse, she, she's making TikToks. It wasn't like, oh, yeah, someone's guess- using each other. Yeah. yeah, you're like I never dated Silvana. <laughs> yeah, right. Um, <laughs> I hated all right. her. I don't know about this part, Bryce on BFS. Bryce also responded on Twitter to backlash by peep by people saying he was acting too cool because he didn't know TikTok drama. What does this mean? Is this a shot at Dave? What does that mean, Austin? See, this seems like he's just trying to turn the sure. butter a little bit. Austin's just trying to churn some butter here and get you I, going. I, I didn't write that question, but people were saying he's like, I'm too old to be talking about TikTok drama. Like, is he talking about Dave? Oh, well, Bra- Bryce's entire brand is that. Like, I mean, it He's is. He's pulling the, he, it made him, and I was like, I don't do that shit anymore. I'm a boxer, which is yeah. kind of crazy. Is that, I mean, did he I, say, I don't do that shit anymore? Like, when he, came on, when he came on BFFs last week, he's like, I don't care about that stuff anymore. I feel like, Bryce, you're just so bored. I, I don't, I don't, like, all this weird drama. You know, it'd be so sick <laughs> if, if everyone would just, like, give me a break and hop off my nuts. On one hand, I get in drama and then I'm like a drama starter and an annoying piece of shit. Then on the other, if I don't care about the drama because I don't pay attention to any of the drama, I just am acting way too cool for school. Or I'm like, pick me vibes. To be like completely honest with you guys, I didn't know what they were talking about. I don't know any of the people they were talking about, so my input made me look like I was (laughs) too cool for school. So I'm sorry if I don't care if someone does the renegade and makes someone break up with somebody. Like, I'm 24 years old now. I don't pay attention to that shit. I was going on the podcast to talk about, like, my bare knuckle fight, and I talked about it. And then they just started talking about random stuff. So, yeah. Bottom line is I really just don't give a shit. You know, here's what I'm going to say. He's, I appreciate that take. I think I agree. Like, 
I don't, this isn't a beef. This isn't drama. I don't want to go back and forth with him like at all. He's boxing. I'm touring. We, in my opinion, we both have done so much shit together and have so much dirt on each other. I'm not, I'm not Dylan Dennis and he's not Logan Paul. I'm not trying to come at each other on Twitter. Like, you know, I just, my feelings were genuinely hurt, but I mean, if that's how he feels about what I think or thought our friendship was, then that's how he feels. And, you know, I, w I wish him the best. The only confusing thing I'd say about that clip that we just watched is like, uh, you better care about TikTok drama and want to talk about like, like you're not going to be taken seriously anytime soon, just as a bare knuckle boxer in the people you need to buy your fights and pay for your pay-per-views will be the people who know you from your TikTok world and mm. from all that shit. He's acting like 24 is like 107. Like, have you seen how people promote fights? They stay in the news and they want to be talked about. So just to be like, I want to be known as just this fighter and that's it. Well, there's a million of those, and no one cares about a million of those. People care about yeah. you because of the other stuff. I think I think he'll still get in his fair share of drama. I don't think we need to count out Bryce getting in drama. I think that's just part of him, his human. It's nature. good for him, and by the way, it's good for him and what. Yeah, he's doing it is. Right now. I think he. I think he's solely talking about like TikTok specifically, like the pinky doll shit. I think that's more what he oh, was. She's fire. I mean, come on. I I wasn't saying she's not. I'm just saying. There's going to be some gang, people gang, that aren't gang. paying attention to it, right? So I guess Bryce is one of those people and he's trying to say like, hey, if I'm going to be either in on the drama or not, you can't like hate me for both. Yeah, know? he probably shouldn't have been on headlines for the show, but I like I didn't take it. He just looked bored. I didn't take that as like a personal insult. No, yeah. no, no. Yeah. But I do think that's the wrong strategy for anybody. Like try to get involved in whatever you're on or doing. Try to get people to be interested in you so you can leverage it different ways. Hundred percent, hundred percent. Hey, Tana, do you think that uh, this you and Bryce beef is at all similar to you and Mads, and you claiming that you and Mads were never friends? Amazing segue, Josh. I just want to give you. you a slight asterisk on what you said. I don't. I am. This is not beef for me. I am not participating <laughs> on the Bryce end. Um, yes, I saw that on the the BFFs docket today. <laughs> I do this have, was from a while ago, right? I know. This was from yeah. a while ago. I know that the last time we were in talks of me coming on and it didn't happen and we all agreed and I have the receipts to, um, prove that Dave. Um, I was, yeah, gonna I'm talk over about it. That. I was going to talk about that. Um, in that moment, I mean, no, I've not, I've never hung out with Mads really, except for at parties, um, a cut like two times. I've only ever met her in person. Like two, three, four, I'll say six, just so it doesn't become a thing amount mm. of times. Um, and you know, we've never, Matt hasn't been on our sheet in a while. I feel like she hasn't, we haven't talked about her in a, in a oh. minute. In a She's living her best life with her boyfriend. Yeah. Their TikTok came up on my for you page the other day and it was really cute. And who's she dating? I love that. Hayden? Um, this guy Hayden. Okay. Yeah. I haven't seen it. It hasn't showed He's up. He's a good TikToker. For them. Okay, everyone's yeah. a TikToker. Uh, this is the most predictable headline of all time. Tana and Brooke under fire for being late to their live show. What happened? <laughs> under mm. fire, damn. What is happened? That a real I, it's the headline right here. I believe it. Um, Tana and yeah, Brooke are on tour for their podcast and fans and at their Pittsburgh show. People are not happy with their experience. Doors are supposed to open at 7. They didn't open till 9. Oof. Uh, Tan and Brooke allegedly didn't go on till 9.45. Tan apparently didn't apologize for being late, but instead gave an excuse. Oh. Fans were upset. Tan and Brooke share the same stories they had already told on Plan Brie. <laughs> Triple homicide right there. <laughs> am I right? God <laughs> damn. Uh, the doors open thing is incorrect. And I have like, I mean, I could like show you from my vlog timing or whatever. Like that wasn't the timing. I was like 45 minutes late to my meet and greet for the Pittsburgh show. And then we went on stage right about the time we were supposed to, I would say it was like a couple minutes off. I mean, this is my first podcast tour and my first tour in like four years. And I think we're still learning as you do when you go on a tour like, and for just not to be like a, a, a dickhead or a wise ass, but like to be on time. No, I still learning. Learning. no, 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 no. Storytelling on stage. That was, a, that was a precursor into my next. OK, sentence. all right. <laughs> um, Go ahead. But um, we did five shows back to back to back to back. And like a couple were like two in a night and stuff like that. And I think and I this is not an excuse. 
I am, I'm just stating why I was late and what was going on, which I told on stage um, and did, you know, it wasn't an excuse. It was just a story. Here's why I'm late. Um, so first of all, back to back to back to back, we finally get to the final show of this run and it's Pittsburgh and you're dead. You don't get any sleep. You're sprinting around, whatever. Our sprinter ended up being a little late into the city and I am wildly injured right now. Brianna, I actually need to talk to you about this. I don't know how you do it. I've seen this bitch like fly off of a golf cart and like concuss herself. And she's like, <laughs> I'm fine. Let's like, let's just like, go hang out. Um, I fell out of a sprinter, a park sprinter, which is even more embarrassing. Um, and I, it's, it's healing now a little bit. It's not, it looks fine now. I you think. missed your show because of this a scab? Is your, this I is, no, this that, 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 that looks, this that was looks like, like a bad cut. This was like 10 days, like now, like 10 days ago. So it was very, very bad. I did not miss my show, Josh. <laughs> I was fucking 40 minutes late to the meet and greet. But I was just bleeding a lot. I literally had to keep my hand over my head. And they were like, go to the urgent care, go somewhere, like get something. I still think I need like a little mm. wrap situation. But yeah. we just wrapped I guess, so I guess the people that pay extra for the meet and greet, fuck them, right? Who cares? So, about the not she at still all. went. She not still went. To be honest, I mean, from my experience, every single person we met at the meet and greet, they're like, we knew you were going to be late, girl. Let's take a shot. That's very much like how. That is a nice thing to have built into your crowd. Like, oh, mm. it's just Tana. We got the Expecting full Tana it. experience. <laughs> no, I do have a question. They want you, you to be late. You so, said, and they were literally being like, give me the blood from your hand. Like that type of energy. And I was like, okay. Oh, that's let's weird. Like, and that's I, I had talked gross. to everyone at the meet and greet. I was like, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, and everyone was just like, we don't really care. I'm, you know, if people went online and said something after, even since that show though, I've been like retweeting and reposting. So what so did you, what did you learn? Not to do five shows back to back to back, be on time. Um, but I learned yeah. that I'm excited for the rest of the shows. They're sold out and they're going to be so fun. And I'm how many more shows do you have? Um, I don't know. Like eight right now that are public, but there's a bunch of dates coming and I'm really excited. And I had a great time with Pittsburgh. Everyone that posted after that I've seen was like, I had the best time and were tweeting me and I was reposting them all. And it's pretty so, impressive. You're selling out all these shows. That's nothing to sneeze at. Thank you, Dave. Very impressive. Um, <laughs> thank you. And you learn it as you go. I, I think at the end, as crazy as my original joke was, when I asked, what'd you learn? You're like, yeah, to be on time. I think <laughs> I think that is what you actually answered. Um, yeah. Tana's split was seven on Plan Brie. Tana talked about seven. When were you on Plan Brie? Um, when I met you for the first time that day. In the so office, we, yeah. we got cucked by Plan Brie again. Once again. Used. Plan for you. No, we got you Tana on because like of the Bryce shit. I'm like yeah. the hot news and you need me on, like, right now. <laughs> on Plan Brie, Tana talked about Severn being so great at sex that she was willing to go to church on Sunday and that Severn is now with a woman who loves God as much as him. <laughs> Wait, is he with a woman that loves God as much as him now because y'all broke up and he found a new woman or because you started loving God? <laughs> what? <laughs> Let's watch a clip. We have the clip. Let's watch a clip. That's no, like a... <laughs> I'm so happy there's no clip playing. Oh damn it! Oh, it's coming. This man, oh, he's a so loves guy. God. We would pray together. I he, the day was so good that I had myself convinced, like, oh, I'll go to church with you on Sunday. Like, I'm not I even kidding you. She burst into flames. Dick, we, believe in God. <laughs> we end things. He did we what he needed to do, and it is so the right thing. He did not need to be with me. Mm -hmm. Will I miss this? Yes. He starts dating a girl and she has a podcast. Mm -hmm. Do you want to know the title what? of the podcast of his new girl directly after me? He went from Tana Mojo to a girl with a podcast titled Girls Gone Bye. Bye. Okay. So it is the new girl. It is the new girl that's more religious. Yeah, that dude sounds podcast. like a dude who's searching. Like, how do you go from you to that? Also. <laughs> I'm, I've never said his name in this regard because I really don't want to bother him. Like he's living his best <laughs> fucking life. Um, we, we were never official. I really was just making a joke at the dichotomy of me and then Girls Gone Bible. Like it couldn't be a Canceled more... Canceled podcast, Girls Gone Bible. Yeah, yeah right. it couldn't be a more polar transition. Um, but that's it. It sincerely was just a fun joke and I wish him and them and everyone in their circle the absolute best. And Amen. Very uh, no, well played, Bree. Very it's different ends of the spectrum. Yeah, it's super uh, contradicting though to like have a sentence start off being like, this guy is so religious. He loves Jesus and God so much. Like he just gives his whole body 
to the Lord. And his dick is fucking fire too, though. I love that dick. <laughs> that dick is that. great. Well, well, <laughs> supposed to save it for marriage. Supposed to save it for marriage. Even the shit was yeah, holy. that is a little weird. Um, shit was save holy. <laughs> What happened here? Tana versus Cynthia. Tana lost a sp uh, sponsorship over a dramatic retelling of a wine tour. She went on France. Sponsor cut ties with YouTube star who said she wanted international wine expert dead. <laughs> okay, that's, that's God. <laughs> the headlines are good. <laughs> like, <laughs> Whoever wrote that deserves a that's the, That's That's like somebody else's headline. That's oh, literally. Yeah, yeah, we whoever, actually took their headline. Whoever so did you, do you want her dead? The PR funnel is fucking beautiful dude that's <laughs> that hats off to whoever fucking wrote that tana was um, not expecting I, the wine tour to be such a long walk and so educational <laughs> that don't make it educational on tana's ass so she left five hours 12 hour tour that's nuts she left five hours into a 12 hour tour and said want to curb stomp her tour guide on her podcast episode <laughs> you you didn't say that dude <laughs> dude so direct quote it Sounds is like a direct hell, quote. Though. They actually have little I, quotation okay, marks around it. All right, so say. what happened? The shit I say never looks good in a news headline because you know me. I'm going to be like, this bitch is being so fucking crazy. I want to literally like stop fucking telling me this. I'm going to curb stomp you. I'm not curb stomping anyone. Like if you've ever seen Canceled, I would say 85, 90% of what I say is a wild dramatization. And sure. the entire viewership. That. The entire viewership is very well aware of that. Even my story time days nine years ago on YouTube, that's Every single one of my fans knows that that's exactly how I talk and that that, you know, I never, I, I don't want anyone dead. And I don't think I said, I want this person to die. Like I definitely was just speaking in like a Tana. I've wished way. death on a lot of people, I think, including you. <laughs> so it's like, I get that. I Dave, get that. Honestly, honestly, I needed to hear that. Yeah. I had a horrible experience with someone who was super, super, super fucking disrespectful, unkind, unprofessional to me. Horrible. And I will say one thing that, and I know what you're going to say to this, Dave, and this is, to I, I take full accountability for this because I should know better. But one thing that is very frustrating about podcasting and talking about your life is I have a fans that I feel like I'm so close with, even at the meet and greets when I see them, like I'm having people tell me, their craziest sex stories and they're who pissed them off today. And I'm telling them everything on stage. Like that's just our relationship. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I tell a story and it's like, I really appreciate the people who love me so much that they go find these people. But what I don't appreciate, like I get it. Be nosy. Brooke and I always talk about this. Go find their Instagram. Look, I'm nosy. I do that. Everyone does that. But when you take it so far as to reaching out to someone or messaging them or leaving them hate or, doing actual cruel things like i just don't condone any of that and i i learn every week on canceled more and more that it's like if you tell a story you have to be prepared for that and it frustrates me to no end did i have so, a horrible experience do i think that was a horrible person yes looking back i probably wouldn't have you know yeah i get that that's something that i i've dealt with and barstool has dealt with for a long time and a lot of our vocal critics will be like it's our responsibility for me say somebody takes a shot on me on twitter and yeah. they're a little they're a smaller person if i respond my crowd will savage them they'll go after and people will say my critics will be like dave that's your responsibility i generally don't agree with that i what you said what? it's like i if you threaten somebody or you do things that are are crazy, you're an asshole and you should never do that. And I maintain that. However, my job is not to create a safe space for somebody who comes at me. Now, this is a little I, different. I don't know what happened there. Like, generally, I won't go after like if someone throws the first punch at me, then it's like, OK, I'm, I'm coming back. I generally try not to throw the first punch on a personal yeah. level. Because you do have that, and I have that, and a lot of people, you have your crowd who, who and, and by the way, it's generally a very, very, very small, it's like point zero 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 one. but if one or two people do it, it does reflect for the bigger group. For sure, and I think, I mean, she she threw the first punches um, verbally in person, and that's why I told, you know, she. Yeah. I would never just start talking shit about a random woman in the North of France. Like, you know, right. she, she was very horrible. And everyone I was with can attest to that. But um, 
looking back, I probably would have told the story in a more concise way or, you know, sometimes, but that's the story of my life with canceled. I guess every week I'm saying, I wish I told that differently or I said that differently because now this is happening. And I understand that what I have creates a ripple effect. And like you're saying, there's power there, but I do appreciate your sentiment about like, Hey, if you're terrible to me. Yeah. And and there's a different, I guess it's like, I don't know how they, your crowd man should pinpoint this girl. It must, though it's a woman. It must have been specific. She lives in a town with a population of 300. Hence, is it sh- she's doing press now about it, right? Bible. Is she? I'm like finding I, things out about my own life here. I What'd think you I say saw, Bible? I, yeah, like, <laughs> like Bible question mark. Like on the Bible, like she's doing press about it now. I, yeah, I'm pretty like sure I saw thing? an article is that about a, it. Is that people say that when you say something? They're like Bible? I've never you know, heard people say like, like on God. Like, yeah, um, I've heard of on God, like but on now God, it's Bible. That one got ruined for me. But um, <laughs> what was I going to say? I Bible. think the Kardashians, Bible. the Kardashians kind of coined that. But the Bible, always, yeah, like Bible. Kardashians wrote the Bible. Interesting. Bible? And um, I, you know, I love the Bible. That is great that she's doing press. Then good for her. So who cares if she's doing press? Yeah, she ain't that mad it. about it. Maybe now the wine tour will. People want to go on it and have the experience for themselves, and it it all works out in everyone's favor. I that's that's what I hope. You know, I, st- obviously, I came I came in very hot. I was very frustrated with the experience and whatnot. But as time goes on, it's like, listen, I'm never going to see that woman again, and I hope her life is amazing and fulfilling. And no, uh, this story we talked about a while ago. These are all, so we'll kind of go through them. But it was a funny story. The way I understood it. Um, you were accused of trying to fuck somebody's boyfriend. Like uh, uh, a girl had this. Now, what I thought was funny about this story uh, was that you're like, I don't even know. I've never met this girl. I don't know who it is. <laughs> and then there was a picture of you making out with said girl. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> so like, it really, it really is an awesome one. The highlight of my life was doing Emily Rodakowski's podcast, world renowned supermodel. And her asking me about this drama and me thinking, God, I wish I had something with more substance to talk to you about right now. I'm Rada. Um, <laughs> I responded actually to your entire segment about this, Dave, on Cancelled. Because I think Brie read the headline. And she was like, Tana Mojo tries to fuck someone's boyfriend. And Dave, you were like, not surprising. And I was like, God damn it. Dave. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, I had your back. I had your back in the original. I'm like, how is she supposed to know? You can slide into somebody's DMs and that's not a crime. But yeah. then I kept going. And you're like, I don't even know who this girl is. I've never met her. And the next slide was you making out with her. You know what yeah. sucks is I still don't know who she is. I still still don't remember ever really meeting her except for the one time she like got invited to a party of mine by someone else and came in that video. So here's, but, I mean, but you I, made out. I mean, you so made this out is like it, a cloud farming video. So, so, so fucking long. But I mean, first of all, just first sentiment. I like a lot of things. I like men. I, I like to do my thing. I like to have fun, but I do not and will not ever like a taken man i think i'm six people alone i don't need to compete with someone else that's that's just too much i have a friend of mine right now who's actively like trying to home wreck something and i was literally yelling at them yesterday i was like i just think it's the grossest thing it's not my thing um Hmm. i didn't realize when so first of all all of this was private you know i slide in i'm like i slide in his dms whatever I wake up the next day to her tagging me in a bunch of stories. So that's the only reason it ever went public. Like I was very much so down to handle this in the DMs and, you know, again, and I just kept trying to express her. I literally had no idea that you guys were dating from Adam or Eve. And I don't really know who you are. I like, you came in my house this one time. She's putting that photo up. And then she's like, essentially, she keeps making all these comments where she's like, are you still mad about Jake? Are you still mad about Jake? Are you so mad about Jake? And I was like, what? like, is she just someone who fucked Jake like back in the day or like, or is that just like a low blow that you're like trying to say? Cause like, you're mad at me. And that's just like something people say and it's easy. And then eventually after the first round of drama happened, I like come to find out she was a girl who was in Jake's music video back in the day. And then she made a TikTok with him, I think. And the caption was like, and she's like all over him. And the caption was like, sorry, Tana. Um, and I was like, okay, this is clout hungry. Like, this is weird. Like, Wait, so I did she, she, she thought you're doing it for revenge? No, this was like way back in the day. No, like, I way, know. 
But oh. then. No, but so then this is what I did not remember and a vital detail to this story. Apparently, I saw her blacked out in Miami. And Miami me is like a whole other force as well. Yeah, right? You know what I mean? And I guess I saw her and I'm sure I was like, listen, I just, let's just squash the beef. Let's just be cool. Like, uh. And then that TikTok happened, um, I guess. I, I really don't remember that, but it sounds like me. So I'll take it. Um, I do like, by the way, having that like caveat. Like, well, <laughs> you got to remember I was in Miami. So like that's, that's blacked <laughs> that, out, Tana. <laughs> blacked so out whatever happens Miami. there. We can't that that really can't be held. Doesn't hold me up in court, court a lot. Yeah, it, yeah. it can be held against me. But I'll just say that we call Miami Tana Tina like she gets a whole new name. Like oh, she's, she's not scary. even Tana, she's Tina. Like yeah. I become <laughs> someone. So Are there any other like cities no, that or just Miami that that you have different names Miami. that don't count? OK, Tina. just Miami. I'm from Vegas. So Vegas kind of is a mix of hometown and I can kind of tame myself there. So Miami's kind of like my Vegas, the way everyone else. Um, but yeah, so then it, it, we were just going back and forth a bunch and it just got really nasty in our messages. And she was just like, I know you fucking know me. I know you fucking knew that I'm dating him. Like, yeah, right. You didn't. And I'm like, girl, I've told you 35 times. I didn't know he was taken. It's weird to me. Like he responded and I was like, oh, you're taken by my bad. Like it's clear. Like, yeah, if I was still trying to get at him, I would understand why you're, you could be this. Mad. I don't want your man. I didn't even really want our man to begin with. This all started from my friends and I like fucking around and being drunk and them daring me to DM him. God sent me here. Like it's I, it just like a lot of Bible wow. references from me. Yeah. Right? And what do you mean by that? Like Bible. You, God you found sent him. me. You found is, him somehow. There's a lot weird. of guys on like the internet. It's like you you singled him out. Yeah, I saw him on TikTok. He was on my For yeah. You page. And I was like, yeah. he's hot. And then everyone was like, oh, send him a DM, whatever. And that's that's as far as it went in my head. It was why like, would you even continue to go back and forth with her? Like, why wouldn't you just be like, I, I I'll end end it. it. Like, be like, no, I don't even know what I, we're I talking about. I was trying to end it. And she just kept going. And, and then was commenting on all my posts like, please don't give us hate please stop this and i'm like girl you started this by mentioning me in your story what do you mean yeah. this, all, this all could have been nothing like you didn't even ever have to reach out i was never gonna dm him again like it just made no sense to me i think that and this is something i'm working on it's a character flaw i don't handle being accused of something that i did not do well at all and it then becomes personal and emotional and i was just angry like i'm like dude fuck you like i don't like i didn't you know what i mean and so we kept going back and forth we eventually blocked each other and then i found out she is in my opinion allegedly far crazier than i knew and now i'm a little scared and i go everywhere with the bodyguard and we can just leave it at that because oh, of her? you're gonna get curb stomped um i have a stalker so not just because of her but she this is a story that I heard from someone else, a very close friend of mine, and it is all alleged. Um, but I also know the people and I remember this happening to my knowledge. Um, she was mad at some other girl that I know at a club in LA and they were in Bootsy Bellows and allegedly she broke a glass bottle and shattered it and took the glass and like attacked this girl's face. And I, and I know this girl and I remember when they were going back and forth in court and the girls got like, a, it was a crazy time. Yikes. And I didn't, I didn't know that was her, uh, my crazy, like face tatted rapper X called me and he was like, I really need you to be more careful than you're being with this person. I was like, damn, if you're telling me to be careful right now, like that's yeah, that is not scary. Good. And I will uh, say Tana, I, a lot of things. I don't see you as somebody who would steal someone's boyfriend. Plus, by the way, and actively do it. It's even if you wanted to, somebody who's that well known, like you, you really like even it's. You can't. I it's, yeah. yeah. If someone wants to be with you, then it's like figure out your own relationship things and come to me when you're single. I think it's just I also you lose someone how you get them like and it's I would never want to be with someone who was moving like that. And I think it's just lack of self-respect to home wreck and, you know, uh, as much as I'm crazy and you could uh argue that other things I do might tote yeah, an error. totally different categories. Um, yeah, we got thing. a couple more headlines. I don't think they're much. Obviously, we met in person first time at the office. Uh, you and I James. My were sweating. My knees were shaking. Oh, give me a break. No, you weren't. Was, I didn't no, even know you were so there. She was so nervous. 
Well, I know you didn't know I was there. I didn't know you were there, Dave. No, um, I that was that was a lot was changing with us during. I'm usually not there. Yeah, you can ask Brianna. I was uh, literally like gripping her like wrists. Like, I was like, I do you want to go like, down she... and see him? <laughs> no, hopefully. Uh, lived up why'd you call life. him short? Why'd I... you call me short? It says she <laughs> called you shorter than she thought. Did you I said that to my did. face. You, no. the way you guys are just like the press. I said I thought you'd be taller in person. I never once said that. Wait, was that to my face? You said that. I said I thought you'd be taller. I don't even remember hearing that. Did but I react I, to it, or did you say it on Plan B? It was on Plan no, B. No, because I. Remember oh I, no wonder I was like I don't remember. Somebody she saved it for that. when it wasn't in person. Wait a minute, That's let me see up. this no, clip. I, no, because you said no something wonder back. now. You said something back to me, though, in person. I was like, I thought you'd be taller. And you were like, I didn't even recognize you. It was something funny. Like, you said something funny. I don't funny remember. I don't remember you saying that to me. I was like, oh, my God. I was so scared. No, I was terrified. But I knew I had to just, like, whip my cock out, sit there, <laughs> talk to him, like, mm -hmm. let him know I'm a human being. We mm -hmm. had a couple nice little chats. Oh, shit. Yeah. It was <laughs> you need sweet. To I think that it's after what you've done. I thought you'd be taller. Oh, you did? Yeah. Don't say yeah. that. I thought, I thought he was plenty tall. I didn't mean that. Brooke was wow. plenty yeah. tall. You didn't say that to me, in, to me in person. Oh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Or like, she no, did it. you didn't. Mm -mm. No, mm -mm. you didn't. Mm -mm. Or I said, like, you look different. I said something. You definitely didn't say, I thought you'd be taller. <laughs> Here's what I'm going to say, That Dave. conversation would have gone way different if so. I thought you'd be taller. I don't know what <laughs> I would have said, but I wouldn't have. That would be such a crazy conversation to start. To lead off, I thought you'd be taller. She definitely yeah. didn't. That, oh, my no, God. I, I said, I said Hi, how dude. tall did you fucking think I was? Well, here's the thing. No, you are tall. You're a normal height, but I think in my well, head. Well, now you can't say I'm fucking tall after saying you thought I was short. I didn't say you were short. And thought I'd be taller. I thought you'd be like 6'4", six, 6'3". Six, That's just ignorant. That's <laughs> just ignorant. It's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> But here's the thing. I also think that it, it has to do with your demeanor. Like in my head, you're so big, bad, P5, full So bum. And then you're like, well, look at this short, pudgy guy. And that's not what I Damn. think. <laughs> Dave, Damn. That's, not, that's not what I think. I think you have got it all going on. You look amazing. It just, in my head, you were like. Mm, A little late mm. for that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, we were doing so well during this interview. And then it ends with kind of a thud. Yeah. I that's thought you'd be talking. Short king. Short king. He's not. She didn't you're say not a king, though. King, I'm a medium king. Okay, you medium are, king. <laughs> five <laughs> ten and a half, maybe. Average five king. ten. Average king. Medium king. Average king. Be worse, you know actually. Why? why? King may be worse. Medium king. You look amazing. I think you just <laughs> scared the shit out of me. So I just thought you'd be. All right. Thank you, Tana. Thank you for sure. coming on, being on time, and uh, best of luck in all your future endeavors and show up on time to your shows. I was waiting for it. I was like, come on, at least tell me one time. Um, thank you guys for having me. I know you're going to clip the shit out of the shit I said, and it's going to look insane um, as you do. Oh, yeah. You don't know the first thing about clipping clips. We're going to get into that right now, actually. When I was at Barstool with uh, Brianna, I was shook at her turnaround time and all the clips. You guys really have the employees going. They, they go fast. Yeah, sometimes they're idiots, though. That's fair. Sometimes uh, they aren't. Aren't we all? Uh, all right. Thank you, Tana. Uh, Thank Thanks, you guys. Tana. Right. See you, Tana. All right. There it is. That's BFF. Yep. BFF. <laughs>